Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on Supergirl Season 6. Today we're going to be talking about the finale and some exclusive information that I can give to you guys. Also, we're going to be talking about a couple of other things in regards to Supergirl that have been released recently. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new, so you don't miss any DCTV videos later this year. So, as you all know by now, Supergirl is coming to an end with Season 6, this is the final season, and they're going to have 20 episodes total, they're going to be finishing around mid-November, that is when the series finale is going to air, and we have specific details about like some things that are going to go down the season, we know that the last episode is going to be pretty big, we know that there are some major returning characters, we've talked about them on the channel, when they were first leaked and obviously we know that Supergirl is coming back for episode 8 very soon on August 24th so in exactly 10 days time from now so obviously we're going to be covering that and I can't wait for it to actually finally come back because it's been a long time since episode 7 aired I think it was like way back in like May or maybe April it was I don't really specifically remember but it was sometime around then. But Supergirl is finally coming back and we're starting to get lots of different promotional pieces of information in regards to, you know, episode 8, them finally returning home, they released a trailer the other day, we've got an official synopsis that we're going to be going over later in this video, they've also released photos for the episode, and additionally, episode 9 synopsis. So we've got quite a lot of things to go through, we're going to be keeping it mainly to episode 1, and then also we've got this information that I'm going to reveal right now. So, I've been told by a source, not going to specifically name who it is, however, I can confirm as far as I know, the Supergirl series finale is going to be part of a two-part episode with episode 19. Now, I don't think this has been reported on anywhere, but this is what I've heard, so it looks like episode 19 and 20 are going to be on on the same night, so that means they're going to be airing back to back. You'll have 40 minutes here, and then you'll have 40 minutes there, and obviously you just have the normal breaks in between that, and that's kind of what's going to be going on as far as I've been told. And so this is very exciting, I think, for Supergirl fans. Obviously, the series finale is a huge thing. It's the final episode ever of Supergirl, and they got to make it a big deal out of, and obviously they got big cast members to come back and it's going to be very nostalgic for fans but by making it a two-part episode you're making it longer and basically it's going to be more memorable I think than just a normal 40 minute episode on the CW so I'm very excited about this let me know what do you think about this in the comments down below please let me know your thoughts Okay, so let's go ahead and move on to the synopsis for episode 8. I think I mistakenly said episode 1 earlier, but I mean episode 8, titled Welcome Back, Kara. This is the first episode in a while, hence my mistake. However, Welcome Back, Kara will see Kara back with the team for the first time. That is super exciting. Also, you will see Kara's dad coming to Earth for the very first time. So there's lots of stuff to look forward to in this episode. So this is how the synopsis goes. Super Friends Reunited As Supergirl and zor make their return to National City, they are determined to keep the Phantom Zone behind them and enjoy being superheroes together. Unfortunately, their overzealous efforts backfire, creating a whole new threat to National City. This is airing on the 24th in 10 days time, so this is the first episode back. So let's break down the synopsis. So it's interesting and there's definitely a few mistakes in the synopsis, but the Super Friends are reuniting, that's what it's teased. At the start of the synopsis, you're going to be seeing Supergirl reunite with Team Supergirl once again. Super excited about that, that was like slightly weird throughout most of the season that Melissa wasn't there with the main cast, although it was cool seeing her actually in scenes and in the Phantom Zone. It was still a little bit weird that she was so separated from the rest of the cast, you know, whilst they were obviously trying to, you know, act around her not being there and being like, oh, let's come up with a storyline for us to kind of be like, oh, Melissa is gone, so, you know, we're going to try and get Supergirl back, but we're definitely not going to get Supergirl back until the episode that Melissa can come back, so obviously it's a little bit gimmicky. However, I think in the end, it did kind of work. But the synopsis also talks in regards to Supergirl and zor making their return to National City. 
However, that is a mistake, and I mentioned this on my stream the other day. Zorel has never been to Earth, unless there is something that we don't know. But they certainly haven't returned ever before, like they've never been there at the same time. So, as far as I know, this is a mistake, and it's weird that there is two mistakes throughout this, because it's kind of weird. Like, you know, you pay attention to when you release press statements and stuff like this. So, yeah. Well, he's never been in National City before, so this would technically be zor first time coming to Earth, so they're obviously going to be working together, it's going to be a whole new thing, he's adjusting to the way of Earth's life, you know, he's got to pretend he is someone else, he's got to pretend he's probably not Kara's Kryptonian father, because that would expose Kara, and also they are determined to keep the Phantom Zone behind them, and enjoy being superheroes together, I think that's another mistake because Zorel isn't a superhero as far as I know. I don't think he was a hero on Krypton or anything. So yeah, he's definitely going to get a superhero suit, but he hasn't been a hero yet. So I guess this is like a split decision thing. Maybe he arrives at Earth and he's like, I want to be a superhero like my daughter. And that's kind of how it goes down. Maybe that's what happens. I don't know. Maybe that does make sense that they refer to him as a superhero. But it's rather fast, so that's why I'm saying that maybe this is a mistake. Maybe it's like he is trying to help Kara on her heroic journeys. He's not like necessarily a straight up hero yet. And so apparently their overzealous efforts backfire, creating a whole new threat in National City. So I think this threat is definitely something to do with Nixley, probably something to do with the Phantom Zone. Because it seems like most of the story this season, even since they leave the Phantom Zone, is still linked to the Phantom Zone. Because Nixley is still going to be around, I think the Phantoms are also going to return, at least for a good part of the season. And you're going to see the Phantom Zone project, we've seen that from behind the scenes. So there is a lot of stuff going down in regards to the Phantom Zone, and I definitely think it's all still very much so linked. But let's go on to the final thing in this video. We have some photos for episode 1. Very excited to break these down because this is like our first proper good look. Obviously we had a trailer but this gives us a bit of insight. So let's go ahead and break this down. So this is the first photo. We get to see Team Supergirl. We got Lena here who is a new member of Team Supergirl with the rest of the team. Brainy is dressed in some very kind of special attire. I don't know if it's like he's going undercover or something. It seems like maybe there is. Or maybe it's a new style that Brainy likes to dress in. But this is after Kara has returned home. You can see that all the donuts seems like they've had a mini party or something. And talking of parties, we have Zorel and Supergirl, and they are in the tower. And it seems this is during the party, and pretty much right after Supergirl has returned home, and everyone is greeting them. And it looks like everyone is greeting Zorel specifically in this. And you must note that he is wearing the blue Kryptonian get up in this shot. But then moving on to the next photo, he is wearing a superhero suit. Now I mentioned this in my stream, but this is a very cool suit. It does look very good and it's obviously very similar to Supergirl's suit. Apart from, you know, the inverse color scheme. It does look cool with the red and red with the symbol. However, he doesn't have a cape. I think this is an interesting choice because most Kryptonians do wear capes. However... I think this is an awesome suit, and I wasn't expecting him to get a suit to be honest, and so maybe he does like have this suit already, because I would presume none of Team Supergirl is just quickly going to whip up a superhero suit really quick, so maybe he somehow has a suit in his back pocket, I don't know exactly how he's going to get that, however, I'm looking forward to him suiting up and being supposedly a superhero. Okay, so let's move on to some of the next photos. We got a photo here of Zorel, and he does seem to be using the like iPad or something. So he does have some past experience with technology, it seems. But he is here with Kara and also with Alex, and it seems like they are looking at something. Maybe it could be National City's latest threat that they caused. But let's move on to the next photo. We got the Danvers sisters reunited again. They look awesome. Fully suited up in the Supergirl costume, obviously Alex isn't in her Sentinel costume, but she will be in her Sentinel costume for a lot throughout the rest of the season. Okay, so let's move on to a photo inside Kako, which we've already seen from the trailer. We know that Zorel is going to be going there. He's going to have to pretend he is 
a normal human so he doesn't expose Kara. I think he's going by the name Uncle Archie. And so inside Kako you have Kara who is talking to a crater. And also she is going to be back in the superhero costume this season as well. That's been confirmed. But we go to the usual Catco meetings and we've got Kara and Nia here and they are listening in on like the morning meeting or something. And then we go outside, we got Zorel talking to Nia in the kind of usual advice place where people give advice. You guys remember many times this has happened with Kat, but I specifically remember Kara and Barry talking out here. But let's move on. We've got William, he is returning. We got Kara as well in this photo as they listen to whatever assignment they are being sent on. And then the final photo that I'm going to bring up is this one. We saw this in the last trailer, but it's a very good shot of Alex and Kara. And Kara is scared. She's talking about her fears in regards to the Phantom Zone and the kind of fear that stays with you afterwards. So she's obviously going to have some long lasting effects. And this is going to be continuing at least for like the first half of, you know, the new episodes that we're going to get. So, yeah, very excited to see more Danvers sisters and everything else surrounding Supergirl in the upcoming episodes, especially looking forward to the series finale, which is going to be huge. And if it does turn out to be a two-part episode, that's going to be even bigger. So, if you did enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment. Subscribe and turn on notifications if you're new to not miss any videos. You can click on the top right corner of the screen to watch my latest video. But for now, I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye. I see red.